Hello, hello, and welcome to Leading Up, where we talk about the most important things for you, how to be the best leader that you can, how to live life in the best possible way. And today we are here to talk about work, life, balance. According to a recent survey from Statista, 66% of Americans report that they struggle with their work-life balance and feel that their work-life balance is out of balance. 90% of Americans report that work-life balance is extremely important to them. We are here to move the needle today and understand where is the struggle, why it happens, and how you can both improve your work-life balance and help your team do the same. And before we start diving into this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow because we have so much to talk about when it comes to leading up and making your life better. I'm so glad you're here with me. This is Leading Up. So what is work-life balance and why do we struggle with it so much? At the end of the day, the person is a whole, but there is so much to manage. Work and life are interrelated and they are interrelated to you. So if you're in a situation where you feel that you are just having a very hard time doing it all, making sure that you perform at work and that you are your best leader and then doing all the things that you want to do with your family, for yourself, your hobbies, there's only 24 hours a day. And if you feel that you are just losing track of how to manage it all, if you find yourself in situations that you're just sluggish, you feel burnout. And if you haven't checked out my episode on burnout, you should absolutely check it out. If you feel that your desk is a mess at work and then your home is a mess and you're just out of breath, you're not catching up, your work-life balance is out of balance. When we talk about work-life balance, the problem that I have with this concept is that it seems as if these are two different worlds, right? There is work and there is life. But today, it's so interrelated. A lot of people work hybrid, a lot of people work from home, and everything is related to everything. When we talk about work-life balance, what we're actually talking about is your ability to manage it all in modern life. How do you do all of that when there's only 24 hours a day? How do you help your team preserve their energy and be their best in modern life when work is so demanding and life is so demanding? That is what we are here to talk about today. We're just talking about you. You must be Peter Gibbons. Uh Uh-huh. Terrific. I'm Bob Slidell. This is my associate, Bob Porter. Hi, Bob. Bob? Peter, why don't you go ahead and grab a seat and join us for a minute or two? You see, what we're actually trying to do here is we're just, we're trying to get a feel for how people spend their day at work. Well, I generally come in at least 15 minutes late. Uh, I use the side door, that way Lumber can't see me. (laughs) And uh, and after that, I just sort of space out for about an hour. uh, Space out? Yeah, I just stare at my desk, but it looks like I'm working. I do that for uh, probably another hour after lunch, too. I'd say in a given week, I probably only do about 15 minutes of real, actual work. The thing is, Bob, it's not that I'm lazy. It's that I just don't care. Don't, don't care? It's a problem of motivation, all right? Now, if I work my ass off and Initech ships a few extra units, I don't see another dime. So where's the motivation? And here's something else, Bob. I have eight different bosses right now. I beg your pardon? Eight bosses. Eight? Eight, Bob. So that means that when I make a mistake, I have eight different people coming by to tell me about it. That's my only real motivation, is not to be hassled. That and the fear of losing my job. But you know, Bob, that'll only make someone work just hard enough not to get fired. So when you look at that, that seems absurd, right? You also have been in situations where you've seen an employee who just doesn't care anymore, who goes there and they either quiet quit or they just are not invested in their work. People need to have the ability to live to the fullest and they need to incorporate their joy of work, their creativity, their best self, with their personal life as well. So let's see how to actually do this. 
how to balance work and life. So here are three things you can do right now in order to improve your work-life balance because your work-life balance and the way you manage it all depends on what you do. So three things you need to do right now. Number one, delegating. Whatever you can delegate out of your day, start delegating to other people. At the end of the day, there is just so much work that you can do. We live in a culture that glorifies being busy. And as a leader, one of the things you need to do is to actually get less busy so that you can have the time and the mental energy to actually lead. So pull back and start thinking with yourself, what are some tasks that are on your desk right now that take a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, and you can actually delegate. What might be happening to you when your work-life balance is out of balance is that you get reactive instead of proactive. So instead of being proactive and planning ahead what you can delegate, you are just going on from one day to another, feeling out of balance, feeling the consequences of being out of balance, burnout, overwhelm, super tired, messy, just no energy, but you didn't even pull back to think what you can delegate. So if you haven't done that yet, do that now. The second thing that you need to do is start setting priorities because some of the days you're going to have less energy than other days. And I'm sure that you have a hundred thousand things you need to do, but the reality is that you can't do them all. So the question becomes not if you are doing, 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 and getting it all done at the expense of your personal time, of your time with your family, of your time for hobbies, of your time to work out and rest and take care of yourself. The question is if you are doing the most important things done. It comes to the point that you have to ask yourself, if I'm gonna do only three things today, only three things, that's all I can do. What are those three things going to be? You don't want to be spending your day and the time that you have running around doing things that are of lesser importance. You want to focus on the most important things. And for that, what I want you to do is use the zero to 10 rule, which means that every task that you have, you give it a number in terms of how critical it is. If it's very important, you give it a high number. So that would be a nine or a 10. Or if it's really, really important for you, you can say, oh my gosh, that's a 15. It's so important. It has to be done. And the things that don't matter as much that may be eating up a lot of your time, um, you're gonna give them a lower number. And so again, shifting from reactive to proactive, you're going to pull back and ask yourself, what are the most important things on my agenda right now? On a leadership level, what I want you to do is to do the same with your team because the same thing that is happening to you, the same kind of burnout and sluggish feeling and sense of less of control that you get when your work-life balance is out of balance. The same thing is also happening to your team members. And the best way for you to help them is to clarify to them what the priorities are. What are the tens for the team? What are the tens for them as team members? And what's a one and a two and a three and can actually wait for another time. So Number one was delegation. Number two was setting priorities. The third thing you need to start doing right now is that you need to set some very firm boundaries. If you look at your day throughout your day, you have some things and those may be tasks or people or it could be social media. It can be interruptions. It can be a lot of things. There are things in your day that eat up your energy. And as a leader, your energy and your time are your two most important resources. So if there are people that waste your time, people that eat up your energy throughout your day, tasks that are very energy consuming or time consuming that are not as important, you need to set some boundaries and guard your energy guard your time so that when you do things at work, these will be the most important things so that you can have maximum impact. And then that's it. The rest of the time you're going to dedicate to your wellness, to your health, to taking care of yourself, to spending time with the people you love, to spending time with your family, because that's how you fuel as a leader. And then you have the mental energy and the mental budget to be the best leader that you can be.
Let's get to Ask Dr. Michelle. I got some great questions. And if you have some questions that you want to ask me about leadership, about life, about anything, don't forget to send your questions to me because I will answer them. Okay, let's see. Question number one. Hi, Dr. Michelle. My work-life balance is so out of whack. Oh my goodness. I feel like I'm pulled in a hundred directions at work. I feel like I'm behind and I need to put in more hours. And at home, my wife says that I'm a workaholic and I really feel that my work obligations and stress are taking a toll on my relationship with her and with the kids. What can I do? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to guard your time with your family because that is a 10. That should be a 10 in your list of priorities. And what happens sometimes is that you get confused between different things and you just run around, run around, run around trying to do it all. The mindset to adopt is that you can't do it all. There is just no way in modern life that you can do it all. So the question is, How are you going to manage things better? Are you setting priorities at work? More hours are not the way to go. Being more efficient, being more effective, being more targeted in how you spend your time is what you should be doing. And the boundaries that you need to set here are actually for yourself because you need to decide on a certain time in the day where you just stop and you say, okay, Since I did my most important things today, I focus on my 10s. At this point, my 10 becomes my family, my wife, my kids. And if you focus on the most important things, you won't feel like you didn't accomplish anything today. You'll be very clear on what you accomplished today and how important those things were for you. We have another great question here. Hi, Dr. Michelle. I've been following you for a long time and you seem to be very close with your kids and family. How do you keep work-life balance as a motivational speaker, succeeding at work and having family as a priority? Well, that's a great question. For the longest time, I was very clear on the fact that my kids and my family are at 10 in my priority. So Because I was very clear on that, it was very clear to me that there is no way that I am not going to know what is going on with my kids, that there is no way that I'm not going to spend time with them because it's a 10 for me. Once you decide, once you define to yourself how important something is for you, once you define it as a 10, that mental clarity gives you the mental focus to decide at any given time what is the most important thing at that time. Now, I consider my kids and my family at 10 in my life at all times, but there were some other things that had to give. So let's say there was a time where I didn't cook as much or my kids had non-matching socks because I didn't know where the other socks are or small things, minutia that doesn't matter. Something has to give. So once you have the mental clarity of what matters the most to you at any given time, There are no hundred things in your life that are 10. There are a few things that are 10. And those are the things that you need to focus on. And only this way, and only with that mental clarity, you can actually do it all. We have another great question here. Dr. Michelle, I just started a new job and I had my third kid. I do not plan on staying at home. I plan to go back to work at the end of my maternity leave. Everyone says that I need to keep my work-life balance, but quite frankly, what does that even mean? What am I supposed to do and how am I supposed to actually accomplish that? What are the most common mistakes that people make when they want work-life balance that I need to avoid? So first of all, congratulations. And second of all, you can do it, but you need to be very, very good at self-care. Because if you just had your third kid and you want to go back to work and you need to function at work and you need to function at home and you have an infant, The first thing that I'm afraid that you're going to drop is taking care of yourself. And to be able to do those things, you really need to be at your best place with yourself. So yes, you will have sleepless nights and yes, you will have a lot of work and yes, it is challenging. But the only way that you can actually make this work is if you make time in the day, I don't care if it's 30 minutes, if it's 20 minutes, every day to do something for yourself. It can be a walk, it can be a bath, it can be 
working out. It can be just rest time for yourself, but make sure to delegate work, make sure to take time for yourself and make sure that you are always, always, every step of the way, proactive and not reactive by leaving yourself time in your day at some point, it could be on your lunch break, think, strategize, and prioritize your wellness. So glad you were here with me today for this episode of Leading Up. If you haven't subscribed yet, come subscribe and hit the button because we have so much to talk about when it comes to you leading in the best possible way and living your best life. Today, we talked about work-life balance and the bottom line is this, work-life balance is in your hands, especially as a leader. Lead by example, make good choices when it comes to prioritizing yourself, delegating, making choices that are supporting yourself and your team in managing the day and the time so that you can do it all. Do the most important things at work, but also have time for family, for hobbies and to filling up your soul, fueling your mind so that you have the mental energy and the mental budget to lead up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to keep up with all the new videos. Also, click on the link to watch another video.